Wow! Whoa! The key looks the same. Well, it's the like a lighter style that you can find in one of the high performance models and also in Sorrento. Before I start driving, just look at all these uh, amenities inside. It just looks amazing, looks clean, looks futuristic and nice. Let's turn this dial, turn on the auto hold. It's ready so we can actually go. Here we go. You see in Kia vehicles and Hyundai vehicles, they did it the best. What do I mean by that? It means they did the best when you make turn signal, it shows what's on your blind side on the instrument cluster. Now this one has about 528 kilometers of range from full charge. Now what does that mean? Me, I travel to Tai Tai Rizal and usually two-way, it will take me about, about 85 kilometers. And that's a lot. But it has about 528. So just imagine how many times I can make round trips using this one. It has tire pressure monitoring, adaptive cruise control, 360 camera, ventilated seat, heated seats, power options like wall charger options. Basically, this is a huge power bank with wheels. You can even operate your appliances. You can do a lot of things. Just imagine. Very quirky, this uh, glass switch feature that we have. So when you press this button here, you can change it from multimedia and the air condition controls. And it also comes with regenerative. So when you are slowing down, depending on what level of regenerative level you are, it will charge the car also. So in that traffic, we are not releasing any fumes. We are all relaxed in this great cabin with air vents also on the sides of the second row. Airbags are everywhere. It has a sunroof. Black interior just makes the car look more premium. And it comes with Meridian sound system. And I am a fan of Meridian sound system. And looking at the exterior, the car is not wrapped, but it looks like it's wrapped. Already has like a savings of like what, 200,000 peso? Because wrapping an entire car with this kind of quality will be very expensive. And here we do have drive modes. So drive mode, sport, echo, normal. There are four drive modes. If you hold it, it becomes snow. This model right here is the GT line or we can simply call it as the mid variant. The GT will be the top variant that is not yet here. But let's see what happens. This one is a rear wheel drive single motor that just gives you plenty of practical features. So Kia Philippines, as explained to me earlier, they wanted to bring a practical car or a variant for every Filipino in their everyday lives. If you are an executive who likes to drive it, then this might be a perfect car for you. But if this one will be given to a driver and you'll be chauffeur driven, and I think that would be maybe too much because um, there are so many things that you might want to keep safe from being destroyed. Let's make the car go sport mode. So this is our first flooring. Wow! Whoa! Woo! That was quick. That was quick. We're in sport mode and the interface just changed. <laughs> hey, that was a very organic response. I was really blown away. That is usually our first impression when you are in an EV. The instantaneous torque that you get from an EV. Kia tells me that owning an EV, especially this EV6, you don't have to replace the filters or other stuff that you would normally replace in your internal combustion engine cars. So maintenance of this vehicle for a couple of years will just be a total of 25,000. So there are a couple of myths in EVs. Number one is charging problem. Number two is charging stations. Number three is the maintenance cost. Number four is safety issue. And number five, the range anxiety. Now, coming with the 530, about 530 kilometers of range, I don't think you will need to worry about that. 
I don't think you need to worry about that. It's been a long time since I borrowed a Kia vehicle, so like <laughs> just uh, uh, trying to get used to it. Powered options everywhere, power tailgate. It's a full package. The ambient light looks so amazing, including the back. Just look at the design of this headrest. It's just so futuristic. It feels like a Volvo kind of feel, auto to dimming room mirror. All the lights are uh, in LED and they light on and off in a very subtle, luxurious way. Fast wireless charging. So you can either wireless charge it or you can also plug it in your wall charger here at the back. It is a five-seater crossover SUV, but the length of this vehicle is actually almost a little short of the size of a, an S-Class. So this one has about 2,900 millimeters of length. There's a front, there's also a rear trunk, lots of space, floors are flat. Really, basically you just look everywhere, there are charge ports everywhere. This 12.3 inch digital dual screens are everywhere. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Wow, there's just so much features that are included in the package that you will enjoy. The seat is actually very comfortable. It is comfortable. This is the horn. The horn is nice sounding and I like the Kia logo. Now people call it the KN. I don't know why people will get confused with this because it's not really an N, it's like more of a V. People will just hate. <laughs> when Kia brought this EV6 to Baguio from Manila, they started with 100% of battery life. And then when they reached Baguio, they still had 38%. It wasn't just an echo run. They did their best uh, to use it in their practical, normal way. 38%, they arrived in Camp John Hay. They left the car charging in an AC adapter. And it took them about six hours to reach 81%. But as they were coming down from the twisties, they were able to have more charge from the regenerative up to 85%. So basically, it is a vehicle that self-charges. So when there's an official launch, the price will be there, but it's going to be below 4 million pesos here in the Philippines. The EV I drove last, last week was the Jaguar I-Pace. Now that one is more in the luxury level. Let's floor it. Oh, the torque. Oh yeah. You feel good when you drive this. Oh, oh yeah. Woo. Let's say below 4 million while the... Uh, Jaguar I-Pace is about 6.7 million with options. Basically, when you are in an EV for mass market, it looks really cheap and it looks very EV. It has like blue accents everywhere. It looks EV in all parts you see. But this one doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel too EV. It feels modern and it just gives you all these practicalities with a simple price. You don't have to spend 6 million plus to enjoy an EV that is not bare. So this EV6 is for you if you are looking for practical amenities like what I need are auto dimming room mirror, 360 ventilated seats and charge options good speaker already i don't need the memory seat actually there are things that i don't need like the sunroof i don't need but it already comes in a package that is quite attractive in my opinion so what we will need to hear from ac motors is how much is the actual price and how long is the warranty for the battery according to kia it goes 0 to 100 in 7.3 seconds or below 8 seconds. And that's not a slouch considering the size of this vehicle. So far, my first impression, a lot of space, great aircon, really luxurious um, feeling because of this nicely designed cabin and the ambient lights and the seats. All this just makes the car feel more expensive than it should be. So I guess below 4 million, it's great. 
because I know that I know Ionic 5 is like they have two variants like it goes for 3.6 to 7 million so if this one yeah comes in that sweet price then it will be fantastic wow so great success today thank you again everyone for watching this video if you want more information please ask me in the comment section below and with that i'll see you in the next video more exciting cars coming to the channel thanks for your support and may your dreams come true everyone